So we're looking at um, buckle carriers that can be used from newborn. I'm just going to do a quick whistle stop tour of some different types that you might choose. What we always want from a buckle carrier is an adjustable body panel so that our babies can have support as they grow. We'd like something that gets narrower um, for a newborn and wider for an older baby so that our babies can continue to have good support from the back of the knee to the back of the knee. And we'd like something that has some support up to the back of the ear. Um, we should always be able to look down and see our baby's mouth and nose are free of fabric and give them a nice easy kiss on top of the head. Uh, this is the Isme baby carrier. It's lightweight on the shoulders. Um, it folds down nice and small and it's kind of birth to walking kind of span. Um, it can do inward facing, outward facing, hip carries and back carries as babies grow. So it goes on in exactly the same way um, as something like the Becco Gemini, which I'm going to put on now and we'll see and have a look at that one. Um, so you can start to see that we're looking at newborn carriers that can be used without um, purchasing an infant insert or an infant cushion separately. The aim of that is to make them intuitive so that we can put baby where we want them to be use the carrier to keep them there which is something that we say a lot you can start to see with the speco gemini that this is a nice wide seat for an older baby but for a newborn we're going to make it narrow at the base and this carrier will go on very similarly to the previous carrier which was the isme we pop baby where we want them to be snuggle them against our chest they usually pop their own arms up but the dollies don't pop baby exactly where we'd like them to be we roll the panel up onto baby's back nice and high one strap goes onto my shoulder one strap goes onto my shoulder and we bring our hand round to make a large X at the back there. Now when a carrier tightens around both of you at the same time, like this, it brings baby's weight up and in, makes baby's weight feel like it's a part of your weight. Bring it round and click, nice and snug. And it helps baby to feel like they're laid on your chest, which is exactly where they want to be. There's nothing in between you. Any carrier that where there's nothing in between you can be adapted for use for nursing for some carrying adults if that's something that you want to do it's merely a matter of wiggling your baby down and keeping an eye on them whilst they are there so nice and snug up against your chest um again a headrest that can pop her up but we always want to make sure baby's mouth and nose is free and we can look down and give them a nice easy kiss on top of the head so carrier like this one um, is very similar in form, uh, in, in fit to how the previous carrier went on. So the Gemini and the Ismi are quite similar to one another um, in terms of how they go on, but they're quite different in terms of how they fit. One has quite a structured waistband and quite a lot of padding. That's the Gemini. Um, the Ismi is a lot lighter and more spreadable on the shoulders. So it depends what you need. Uh, one family will enjoy one and one family will enjoy the other. This is the Tula Explore. Um, in form, this looks more like the Gemini, the second carrier that we put on because it again has the padding and the, the structure on the waistband. Structure doesn't equal comfort with a carrier, it isn't the same thing. Um, a good fit is what makes you comfortable. Uh, the more structured pieces there are, the more important it is to try it on uh, before you commit. So again, a carrier like this one goes on around my waist, I pick my baby up and I give them a cuddle. Exactly where I'd like them to be, support underneath the bottom, we've got a narrow base just here. We roll the carrier up onto baby's back, support to the back of the ear. But this one won't cross on the back, this one has two large loops. One goes onto my shoulder, and one goes onto my shoulder. And I reach up behind to click the buckle behind my head. And when I tighten my carrier, I pull down to move the buckle down, and I pull forwards to tighten up around our baby. So there's a hood on this one and a headrest underneath. The hood will remove if you don't um, use it very much. You can take it off and store it in a pocket on a waistband. Um, but we should always have our baby in exactly that same position. Again, access to their hands, look down, see their mouth and nose, nice and snug. And that tightening mechanism that wraps baby's weight around us and makes it feel like it's a part of our body um, is always a nice thing to have. It's the way that, that it passes the weight down through your pelvis towards the ground and takes any weight at all away from your shoulders. It's a very natural way of holding on uh, to your infant. So a carrier like this one to take it off. My reach is appalling and I can't reach that, so hoik it up into the air. Unclick and take it down. And there's the baby. And then take it off. And there's our baby. So that's the Tula Explore. The Tula Explore will do 